It's the holiday season and kids, parents, and adults are all thinking about the magical things that happen during this great time of year. And Steve Hansen, director of the Sioux City Public Museum, joins us today to talk about the magic they're going to have at the Public Museum. And uh, you're going to have two exhibits this time of year. One is the Toys Through the Ages, as well as the Quilt Exhibit. And first off, why don't you tell me more about the uh, Toys Through the Ages exhibit? Great. Well, first let me say thanks for having us on today. Sure. And uh, it is a great uh, time of the year. And we especially like to do the toy exhibit because it does have an appeal across generations. Uh, we have families that come up, and this isn't the first time we've done a toy show, but it's the first time we have shown these sh toys uh, where you'll have grandparents, as you mentioned, come up with their grandchildren and explain what those toys meant to them. Uh, and we have toys on display from the 1930s up through the 1970s, so it really is a broad range of toys, and it also shows you the evolution of toys, not just in from a technical standpoint, but also materials and even just some of the themes. What were uh, It's a good st slice of life of each decade on what was happening culturally during that time. Now, I think there was one local personality that actually uh, he collected these uh, toys for over the, the years. Right. Most of our collections come, or our exhibits go from our own collection, but in this case, there's a, a local collector, a radio personality by the name of Larry Fuller, who does nostalgia radio theater along with his partner. And uh, he's been collecting for quite a while, and he got obviously interested, like most of us, in toys when he was a child. And he was in the service, and when he came back, he started collecting, got the collecting bug, and has really put together just a, a first-class collection, and he's been very kind to share that with not just us, but with the uh, whole community. Now, what types of uh, toys has he collected? You know, if you, just about every kind of toy. But uh, what we have on display, you'll see a lot of uh, wind-up mechanical toys. You'll see, like, Dick Tracy cars, uh, some of the old uh, the early radio shows, some of the things they would have had. You'll see those. And then, like I said, it goes up in the 70s. You know, might, maybe Candyland, which is still being sold today. Um, pop guns. Uh, it's just a nice array of spaceships. It's fun stuff. Now, I'm sure he's probably got a couple toys in there that have some great uh, value or worth nowadays, right? Well, you know, it's yes, would be the short answer to that. But for most people, when you come up, uh, other than the person who's just out on their eBay or something, I mean, the real worth is the sentimental value. Uh, and museums in particular are about evoking memories and hopefully teaching along with those memories. So if a child comes in and is looking, let's say, at a, a toy from the 1940s, and they say, well, why did they make that out of wood? Uh, in all likelihood, certainly grandpa or grandma can say, that's because that's all they had to make out of that time. They made toys out of wood because all the metal was going to the war effort. And uh, they may or may not get into that. So it can really be, it can be a fun experience, but it also can be a very educational experience. Now, we were talking earlier about uh, some of the, like the price of some of these toys, and they didn't have uh, computers back then, so a lot of the younger kids uh, relied on these toys to, you know, for entertainment and fun purposes. And what were some of the prices of yeah. the toys? Well, you know, unlike today where people line up at 6 in the morning the day after Thanksgiving to get the bargains at $100 or $200 PlayStation, a lot of these toys might have been purchased for 25 cents, 50 cents, uh, maybe a dollar. But if you spent $10 on a toy, especially in the 40s, uh, you were spending pretty good money back then, which makes sense. But um, So like anything else, uh, the price of most things uh, were lower. But it is, it is pretty amazing, the evolution of when you look at what used to captivate the imagination of a child and the price it cost to today's high-tech world. Um, they may have got better bang for their buck back then. Now, what are some of the, uh, the reactions of the people and uh, maybe some young kids uh, actually taking a look at these uh, old figures? You know, um, of course, you'll hear a lot of kids say, well, how did it work? Um, where's the electric cord? <laughs> of course, you, you just didn't see that. Um, I think what you get is just, there's just that universal appeal. There's some things that are always going to appeal. If you have something suspended and it's a rocket ship, uh, maybe it was uh, you know, Dick Tracy in a rocket ship back then, but today it could be Buzz Lightyear you know, or, uh, or Star Trek. So uh, 
the only the maybe in the case the faces change and the technology changes, but I think the uh, what I see is the adults is more nostalgic, the kids is more of an awe and a wonderment. Do you know how many toys you have on display at the museum? Oh, um, you know, I, I would say probably a couple hundred. There's quite a few in there. Uh, we I didn't actually do the count, but uh, there are quite a few to. You know, there's enough in there to whet the appetite of any uh, person who enjoys seeing toys. Oh, sure. And wasn't it a period over 40 years? Uh, 1930s through the 1970s, so it really does cross the decades. And if you think about the changes from that time, from the Depression years to the World War II, Vietnam, up into the 70s, up in the disco area, uh, quite a few changes that you can see. And, and some of those are reflected in the toys. Okay. All right, well, that is the toy exhibit, and that can be seen at the Sioux City Public Museum. And we will be right back speaking more with uh, Steve Hansen from the Sioux City Public Museum. We're going to take a quick break. Please stay with us. We're going to be talking about the quilt exhibit coming up next on Siouxland Community Media. Mm -hmm. 